I am Batman. I mean, Average Sniper. What's up guys, Average Sniper here, just bringing you another Battlefield 1 video. And this time I'm doing something a little different. I am actually using the Medic class. But before I get into that, let me just say I hope you guys are doing well, and I hope you enjoy this video. I know I usually snipe, but this time I'm going to bring you something a little different. So I've been playing a lot more on the PS4 Pro lately because I've already reached rank 100 on PC and rank 120 on Xbox One. And for me, in order to play a game and stay interested in it, there has to be something that keeps me attached to it. Whether it's learning to get better at the game or just achieving certain goals in the game, um, it doesn't matter. It just I just need something. So for me, it's getting to the top rank, which would be level 100. I know there's 120 levels in the game, but getting to level 100 is all I really need because um, after level 100, the other ranks are pretty easy. The real, the real grinding part is getting from level 0 all the way up to level 100. Past that, you're on easy street, at least in Battlefield 1. Um, so, since I've already ranked 100 on PC and rank 120 on Xbox One, I thought, you know what? Let me get out my PS4 Pro, play some Battlefield 1, since Battlefield 1 is the only game I own for PS4 Pro, and let me start ranking up. So, I've, uh, I've recently just reached rank 81 or 82, somewhere around there, so I'm not too far away, but I would say maybe about... Um, two-thirds of the way total because once you get into the 90s it takes so much longer so much longer uh, to get the higher rank or to get up to to the next rank and rank 100 being the ultimate goal I'll probably go to rank 120 on all the platforms but for now I'm comfortable just getting to rank 100 another thing I've been doing to keep myself interested in the game and to learn new new things is ranking up my other classes <laughs> Now on Xbox One, sorry I have a little bit of a stuffy nose today, on Xbox One I have already unlocked all the weapons, except that one in the support class where you have to shoot down two planes. I really just didn't want to do that one, but I'll talk about that in another video that's more on the support class. Other than that, I've unlocked all the guns in the game. and. Um, I, I have very little experience with classes other than Scout. Now, if you've never seen my videos before, I don't want you to get the impression that I'm one of those snipers that doesn't play the objective. I play the objective just as hard when I'm a Scout as I do when I'm playing other classes that favor close quarters combat. I enjoy playing the objective. It keeps the game interesting for me. I don't have a fun time when I camp because it's just very boring. I think I do much better um, I get a lot more kills and a lot more points when I'm up playing the objectives. Yes, of course you're going to get a few more deaths, but I don't think Battlefield, at least if you play Conquest, which is the main Battlefield game mode, I don't think Conquest is about your kill-death ratio. For me, it's just about trying to get that number one spot on the leaderboard, well, on the match leaderboard, uh, showing that I played the objective the most. And it is really hard to do that, only getting kills. and. And if you get so many kills that you're on number one on the leaderboard and you didn't cap any objectives, then I'm going to have to say you are helping your team, actually, <laughs> by getting so many kills and stopping so many enemies from getting to the objective. I personally just like to play right on the objective or very close to it, stop those enemies from getting in. So on the medic class here, I am using the sweeper. And I really like this gun because it's a good close to medium range weapon and it's fully automatic. When I'm not using the sniper class, I prefer a gun that's a one shot kill like a shotgun or a fully automatic weapon because I don't like to have to be accurate with guns that don't have scopes on them. That sounded wrong. <laughs> I like to be accurate, but I don't like to have to be forced to like go for headshots. I do like to spray and pray a little bit, a little bit without the prey, because I, I do consider myself fairly accurate um, with these weapons that don't have scopes, but I do prefer to have a scope. So I actually worked on my medic class, and uh, I think the sweeper is my favorite gun, um, but then I unlocked the fetter off. And I think the Fedorov might be my new favorite gun, specifically the one with the optics, uh, the Fedorov Optical, because man, um, that gun gives me like a carbine scope that I'm used to using on the Scout class, and it's just, it's got a great rate of fire, you don't lose accuracy or consistency when you spray it um, compared to the sweeper, and it's just great. 
Um, other than that, I think the Sweeper and the Fedorov are my favorites, but the Medic class also has some really good guns uh, for sniping. In fact, um, you even have the uh, Mondragon Sniper, which has a, has a full scope on it, a full marksman scope, and it's pretty awesome. Then you have the Selb Slaughter and uh, a couple other ones. So the Medic class is pretty diverse because if you're a sniper and you have trouble, you know, you don't like to play the Assault class or the Support class because you don't like to spray and pray, well, you can get, definitely play the Medic class. Now, I think the thing I like most about the Medic class, and this is obvious even if you're new to Battlefield 1, is that you can heal yourself, you can heal other players, and you can revive your teammates. Now, even if you're not much of a team player, doing things like healing and reviving your teammates is really important because if you're capping that objective, you're going to have to rely on teamwork. You're not going to solo cap an objective where two or three squads are guarding it. It's just not going to happen. Well, maybe one, one in a thousand chance you'll get it, but the odds are against you. Check out this streak I go on here. This is crazy. So I just killed like three people and got an assist counts as kill. I go after this guy. I'm on like four or five people killed now. And I'm just like, okay, who's going to jump out and kill me? Because every time I get on a streak like this where I kill like four or five people in a row, all of a sudden somebody jumps out of nowhere and just blows my head off. But not this time. This was crazy. And this was one of the first matches I actually used the sweeper in. I have used it before when I had to do challenges to unlock certain things. But this was the first time I used it seriously. As in, I just wanted to try something different and use it and man I thought I was gonna do pretty bad with it because I'm just used to sniping and usually when I switch tactics it takes me a while to get the hang of it uh, I might do bad for a couple games until I get the feel for the gun but the sweeper and me uh, just seemed to click you know just seemed to click I think this was either the first or second match where I used it and I was like oh my god is this gun OP or do me and this gun just get along <laughs> because it was crazy it was just crazy um for my secondary i'm using i believe it's the m1911 i have a uh, med pouch on i like the med pouch over the first aid kit um the big box that i'm standing on right there i like the med pouch because you can throw it at people and you can move and heal at the same time so if you throw it to a dude who has one health and he runs away, as long as you hit him with it, he's going to heal while he's running. Whereas the med kit, you actually have to stand on it. If you move away from it, the healing process will stop. And it works the same for you. When you throw yourself health, all you have to do is run over it. And as long as it's a med pouch, then it will continue to heal you while you run away, move to cover, or go to a different objective. It's really cool. So when I switched back to the scout class, I kept trying to heal myself and I kept pulling out my spot flare because that's the button I had configured to do it. <laughs> it's pretty funny. So there's the end of the streak. That was insane. I don't know how many people I killed there. But long story short, I put the gas mask on and then hopped back up and got shot in the face. So <laughs> eventually I did get shot in the face, but I got so many kills out of it. I'll have to go back and count them or something because that was just insane. But yeah, guys, I've really been enjoying playing with the medic class. It's a class that I can play with and still feel good about what I'm doing because I got to the point where I started to feel like... Um, well, I guess I've always felt this way when I use other classes. I just don't really get any satisfaction out of them, even if I do like really good with these other classes. I feel like sniping is the only thing that really satisfies me because I feel like it's the most challenging thing in the game. Now, you know, there's some arguments out there about, well, sniping's too easy because of the aim assist on console and this and that, but we're going to put all that aside and just say, in general, in most video games, if you're going to play aggressive and you're going to be a sniper at the same time, that is definitely one of the hardest things to do because you're going up against guys with shotguns and fully automatic weapons, and it's just hard. Now, on the medic class, this is a fully automatic gun, so I did feel a little bit guilty using it, but <laughs> it was definitely a guilty pleasure because, man, I was just mowing these guys down and they just could not stop me now a lot of this was because i had a really good team obviously the other team was not using very good teamwork as you can see right there that random guy just runs out with a bayonet charge and completely <laughs> misses me um but other than that i mean not every game i had was like 60 70 kills but this one definitely was it was i think it was 68 kills and 14 deaths so i was pretty proud of myself for that even though you know the gun i'm using i don't think is as hard as sniping <laughs> well 
I'll tell you something. If you want to challenge a Battlefield 1, if you feel like you're really good at everything and you play on a console or you play with a controller, go ahead and try out like the Russian 8, any sniper with a sniper variant or a marksman variant with a four times zoom or above. That will take the aim assist auto rotation and the aim assist slowdown away and uh, you can really see how good you are or how much the aim assist helps you. But I've been using the sniper variants a lot too and it is just fun to get used to sniping people without aim assist because when you do get that kill on them, you know, up close, like you headshot a guy who got the drop on you, it just feels so good because you know, that's all you. You know, the game didn't do that for me. Now having said that, you know, all these other guns do have aim assist on them unless you want to turn it off. I will not turn my aim assist off because it's on by default. I don't feel like playing with a handicap, you know. I do like to challenge myself, but I also like to play for fun. I don't like it to get too difficult because then I stop having fun. And what's the point of playing games if you're not having fun? I mean, they're games, you know. But we all have, well, I know we all have that one friend who's serious about any game that he plays. You know, that, that might be me, but I, I try not to be too competitive, but there you go. So... I know I went off on a crazy tangent there, but all I'm trying to say is I've really been enjoying the medic class. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful, and I hope you like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video or the next stream. Later!